Uh, we love shaking our students' hands and listening to their stories and enjoying a wonderful meal. Um, of course, we are missing all of those things, but here we are. We are so proud of your achievements and take great pride and joy in all that you've done and are yet to achieve. So, um, so again, we are confident that you're going to use your Oakland education uh, well, and it's going to serve you well throughout your personal and professional lives. And we hope that you will continue to stay in touch, um, come back to us to serve as mentors to our students, uh, remain engaged with the Alumni Association that hosts lots of events for the alumni to remain engaged, come back for your graduate education. This is just the beginning of a lifelong relationship. This is like home and we hope that you will uh, continue with this relationship. Um, you know, while your education will remain with you. But I think this extraordinary time that we all went through also taught us some really, really important lessons. It's, it brought us a lot of challenges, no doubt about that. We are missing you know, these life events, um, doing them online. But it's also taught us how resilient we are. We didn't really recognize as a humanity is, you know, how resilient we truly are, uh, how flexible we've been. All of you have adapted so well into this online environment, how adaptable we've been. And it also gave us um, time to pause. We have been very busy and will again be very busy running around, but it's given us time for self-reflection. And I hope that all of these things are so important to be successful in life. Um, whether it is your professional life, your personal life, that I hope that the lessons you've learned in through your self-reflections, through your resiliency, through your adaptability will stay with you and you will really uh, use them to your benefit throughout your life. So congratulations again and best wishes. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dean McCurchy. We really appreciate your words. I also wanna take a moment to thank the faculty and staff for joining us today. I know our seniors, I'm sure would like to commend them as well. We have our director of employer relations and colleagues. We have our coordinator for graduate programs, Paul Trumbull, our director of advising services, Debbie Langell, um, one of our service advisors, Lauren Levy, our, one of our advisors and our events coordinator, Jessica Holtzberg. And I know a lot of you on the call know uh, Professor Donna Free. I don't think I'm missing anyone. So just wanted to say thank you all for joining as well. Um, that being said, I know that we, I see a lot of uh, supporters on the call as well. So thank you um, to the parents on the call, guardians, uh, significant others, other supports in our students' lives for being here today. And now we have the wonderful uh, privilege of introducing some of the students on the call. Again, for all of our students, as I had shared before, um, when either um, Debbie or Navadita or Dean Mazio reads your name, you'll unmute yourself. And then please share your name, your major slash minor, here. Um, what you did within the SBA if you're involved, either in the SBA or your local community, a favorite experience you'd like to highlight as an SBA student, um, future plans, and then if you'd like it to take a moment to, to thank anyone. So again, you're just really introducing yourself, you know, sharing your story a little bit. And I believe that, is it uh, Dean Mazio is starting us off? Sure, absolutely. Uh, the first person here is Mayor Al Salati. So if you would unmute yourself and uh, talk a little bit about uh, your experience and uh, go from there. Is Dana with us? Is it Dania? I'm sorry, yeah. Dania. Yes, yeah, okay. hi, good morning. Yeah. Good morning, oh, okay. Right. I was, okay, I wasn't sure. Uh, hi everyone, I'm Dania. 
and I'm actually right now currently a student, uh, a master of accounting here at OU. I got my bachelor's in accounting last year, like last summer at, at OU. And I wanna say like, I had like really great experiences like at OU and SBA, but pretty much like I was like kind of active and involved like, around campus, pretty much like with a lot of school like organizations and events. Most commonly one was like the accounting like OASIC. I was trying like my best to like be active on the weekly meetings and that, I really like enjoyed them because I like met like so many people, like professional people from like different backgrounds and different experiences. And outside like the academics for, from like my sophomore year, all the way to like my, the end of my senior year, I was actually an e-board member for like a school organization called Mission Kindness at OU. And this one is a little bit service-based and like we're dedicated to like spread kindness around campus. And like every semester we like try to plan like special like events and meetings and those kind of things like take a lot of like time and effort to plan but we like enjoyed it like it was like worth it because like every like meeting or events like turns out like successful and we end up like having so much fun and like we like tend to like meet like new people on canvas and make new friends and that's something like we all enjoy like outside of our classes and outside of work and after like I finished my master's in accounting, I plan to pursue my CBA and work in public accounting. So right now, currently I'm a full-time intern at Apply Moran and I do like a tax internship and I ended up actually liking it. So I plan to like stick in the tax field after I graduate. And um, lastly, like a special thanks to like everyone I worked at, or you especially like for giving me like a great overall like college experience. I would like to mostly like thank all my professors like throughout like all their help and mentor and guys like especially like right now during like those hard times like doing it virtually and during quarantine like like we know like it wasn't easy but our professors like made it easy and like they made sure like they were here for us and I would like to give like special thanks to like my professor Donna Freen, I believe she's here today because she was just, she was like my guy throughout like my accounting major. And like overall, like I wanna thank like all my advisors and staff that I worked with for all their resources and their advices. They got me where I am today, so thank you. That's great. Thank you for sharing. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. So is Meyer here? If not, we'll move on to Sheoli Amin. Sheoli here. Hi, I'm here. Um, I'm Sheoli Amin. I am a finance major. Um, one of the things that I enjoyed the most is um, at Oakland University is volunteering at the career fairs. Um, because I know that benefits all students and they definitely definitely need a lot of help. So volunteering at those events where um, I got to put some um, more skills on my resume as well as helping out. Because I know those career, career fairs are like really important for students every year. Um, my favorite part of being an SBA student was getting to network and uh, with different companies and learning about their opportunities. Currently, I am working at a law firm, so I work as an assistant to um, a group of attorneys. In the future, uh, since I am a finance major and I'll be graduating next month um, with a bachelor's in finance, um, I want to work in the finance sector in the future. But I'm just looking forward to seeing what the future holds. I'm excited to see um, where this degree will take me. Uh, so, I wanna thank my family for being uh, there for me throughout my whole college journey. And also the professors who's been, who have been so supportive throughout the whole um, online learning, um, remote learning, because it, it is really difficult. So um, yeah, I just wanna thank, I'm really thankful for all the great professors that we have at Oakland University. And also, I want to I want to thank the staff and faculty for putting this event together for us. So, thank you to you guys. Thank you. All right, great. Thanks, Shayoli. Okay, next on the list is Samantha Bartolotti. 
Is Samantha with us? Hello. Yep. Um, my name is Sam Bartolotta. I'm graduating this April with a degree in marketing. Um, during my time at OU, I, for a little bit, was a part of the Love Your Melon Club, um, the campus crew there, and I joined the Tri Sigma sorority. Um, throughout that, I was able to hold different officer positions, such as um, sisterhood and um, our vice president of new member education. So throughout those, I got to put my business skills that I've learned throughout my time at the SBA um, into good use. And now in the future, I uh, right now I'm currently interning at Magna International as a marketing intern. Um, I've been there for quite a few years. So I'm hoping that after graduation, it'll turn into a full-time job, but either way, I'm looking forward to the future and where all those avenues will take me. Um, I wanna thank all of my professors that were helping me along the way, along with my family. Um, they've really been supportive and helped me um, figure out which direction I wanna take. And also my advisor, Denica, um, she's been super helpful helping me like with classes and just figuring out different avenues to take. And thank you all for setting this up too. I appreciate it. Great. Let us know when you get that full-time job, okay? <laughs> yes, I will. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> so, Dean, you go next. Oh, am I? Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Owen Bennett, is he here? Yes, if I can get but, myself unmuted. Hello. Oh, I, oh, yeah. That's going to be the ultimate phrase for the rest of our lives. Mm -hmm. you know, you're muted. Go ahead, Owen. Thank you. Sure thing. So I'm Owen Bennett, uh, majoring in economics, minors in business analytics and philosophy. Um, my involvement in the SPA over the course of the previous year, um, I've been a member of the executive board for the Oakland chapter of Beta Gamma Sigma. Um, and it's been really great both to plan a variety of events for people to attend, you know, to learn about what that work can offer or just learn about how to develop themselves professionally. Um, that's also when I think about my favorite experience with the SBA, I think what stands out to me was probably attending that induction ceremony, which was just a couple of weeks ago. Mm -hmm. um, and it was really great to see um, several younger students, people that are still working their way through the program, um, recognized for their achievements um, and able to kind of see what they have coming up and uh, the great things they'll be able to do in the future. And also to meet some of them. It was just a really, made me feel kind of old, but it was a really great experience. Um, it highlighted like how far I've come. I feel like it was neat. Um, involvement with the rest of Oakland. So since about the month after I joined, I think it was October of 2017, um, I was a freshman here. I've been a member of the student program board here on campus. So we've planned everything from carnivals to concerts all over Oakland, 99% uh, free for every student to attend. Uh, last night was our last one. We did a drive-in movie in a parking lot over on the side of campus. Um, so this is feeling like a shared retirement and graduation party for me, kind of. I built a lot of memories with that group. Um, so I'm really thankful for the time I've had here, not only academically, but um, I've gotten a lot out of my extracurriculars, I think. That's great. I would like, I'd like to thank, um, I know, I think my grandparents and my mom are all here sharing an iPad. So they probably have one window in the Zoom call. But um, I've had the academics locked down the whole time, but I couldn't have done it without the support I had at home. So thank you to them. Uh, special thanks to, I think, Professor Tracy in the economics department. Um, he has everybody work hard, but I think I learned more in that class than I did in any other because he really, um, he teaches you the value of putting the effort in, I think. But just happy to be here. So thank you guys for hosting this. Thank you. Wonderful, um, Owen. And that indeed was a great event. We were so proud of all of you. The uh, You guys just rocked it. You know, that was a wonderful, wonderful event. And we hope to, you know, continue with that tradition for years to come. So you guys had a high mark and standard. And this was the first one that we did with student involvement. It was great. So thank you for your participation. Uh, and I hope that you will continue to, you know, 
play the role of a mentor uh, and all of you who were involved, so deeply involved with that. So next up is Raymond Benvenuti. Raymond, yep. are you here? Yeah, can you guys hear me? Yes, we can. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Raymond Benvenuti. I'm majoring in management information systems with a specialization in business analytics. Uh, my involvement over the past four years is I've been a member of the OU Symphonic Band over the past uh, three years. Each semester we put on two concerts, uh, one in October and then one in uh, November. Uh, I was also a member of the Honors College for three years. Uh, my favorite experience while being at OU is uh, at the start of this past school year, I was asked to help out with the orientation part two at the School of Business, uh, kind of like giving the freshmen and transfer students kind of like guidance and advice as they were preparing to start their, you know, their time here. Uh, my future plans, I actually just landed an internship with Zenith. Uh, they make football helmets and equipment, and they're uh, one of the companies under the Rock family of companies with Quicken Loans. And then uh, I wanted to take this time to thank my parents, uh, Charles and Maria, they're here next to me. Uh, my friends Josh and Nick are also on the call and uh, all the professors and staff who've done an amazing job over the past four years, so thank you. Congratulations, that's great news. That's awesome, Raymond, great job. Okay, next on the list is Brendan Coleman. Is Brendan here? Uh, yeah. So, hi, my name is Brendan Coleman. I'm an accounting major here, and um, I guess my favorite thing I've done for the SBA was participating in OASIS because I feel like it was always really educational. And across the whole school, I've loved being a supplemental instruction leader for financial accounting at the tutoring center. And I guess lastly, I just want to make sure I thank my mom who's here today, Donna, uh, Donna Fried, who helped me get my law school admissions, and I'm going to Wayne State with a full ride because of that and Debbie for being a great advisor. Great, congratulations. That's so sweet, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it is great. Uh, our next person is Hannah Dubay. Is she here? Hannah? Okay, if not, we move on to Sabrina Formosa. Hi, I'm here, I'm Sabrina. Um, so I'm a marketing major and I actually used to live on campus, which kind of made me feel really involved with it. And I used to go to a lot of sporting events. Well, within the past year, it's been kind of different with going on campus and everything. Um, I really enjoyed in the SBA going to a lot of the networking events. I feel like I learned a lot um, with business professionals around campus, even on campus. And I feel like I've met a lot of people and I've actually made a lot of connections on LinkedIn from that as well. Um, I currently have a marketing internship through State Farm and upon graduation, I would like to work there full time and I'm, they've offered me a full time position. And I would like to thank all my professors and faculty here today as well. Um, and my family, I have my mom here with me right now. Um, but yeah, I think family support has been very good throughout my um, years here at Oakland. So, and thank you for this event as well. Congratulations, thank you. Great job, Sabrina. Okay, next on the list is Charles Gwizdowski. And Charles, I'm sorry if I've mispronounced your name. Uh, thanks. It's it's okay. I probably you probably deserve a phonetic spelling, honestly. How 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 do you say your name? Yeah, and I go by Chaz. Actually, it's V is Dusky. Okay. Yeah. V is yeah. Dusky. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. Um, yeah. Thanks for the introduction and thanks for hosting the event. It's it was pretty exciting to see an email that said, you know, we're hosting an event in your honor. That's not something that like everyone gets to experience. So I appreciate that. Um, so when I think back about like my time with the SBA, um, I specifically remember the first event that I went to um, when I was an incoming transfer student here. And that was like the accounting recruiting forum, like kind of to kick off the accountants um, recruiting season. Uh, that was great because I didn't know anyone yet and everyone was super friendly and I got to meet some professionals as well. Um, and that may let you know that I am also an accounting major 
and I'm minoring in MIS. Um, in the fall, I'm going to be starting full time with PwC, kind of a result of um, all the networking opportunities that are set up by, you know, Oasis with the Thursday meetings, the accounting recruiters reception. So um, coming into OU, that wasn't something I really expected, how hands on the career progression services would be with for accounting students. And I really appreciate that. Um, but one of my favorite things about the SBA, I would definitely say we're like the day to day, um, like the day to day classes, meeting people and hanging out in the computer lab. Uh, the school is kind of small, seems small at times. So like I meet a lot of, you know, there are a lot of people in my classes that I know. And so being able to go from like class to class with people or like seeing familiar faces is a really important thing that I got out of the OU SBA. That was some of the things that I enjoyed the most. That's great. Thanks, Charles. Sure. Absolutely. Great. Our next student is Christopher Holman. Is Christopher here? Christopher? I guess we move on to Selena Gendo. Again, like Debbie, if I mispronounced your particularly last name, apologies. Is Selena here? Looks like maybe not. Okay, next on the list is Dallas Keeler. Is Dallas here? Yes, I'm here. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dallas Keeler. I will be graduating with a degree in accounting. Um, uh, one program I was involved in while I was at Oakland was the Women in Business program, where I got to meet up with a mentor and get some advisement on what to expect in the future. Mm -hmm. uh, one of my favorite experiences uh, as an Oakland student was going out to lunch with my friends. I mean, it's always nice to see them. And then also going to the greatest showman sing-along that happened during one of the homecoming seasons. Uh, in the future, I plan to get a job where I can use my accounting degree and succeed because of my education. And someone, or people I'd like to thank are my parents and my sister for their support. And then I'd also like to thank my advisor, uh, Tiffany, because she helped me get into the Women in Business program. And I feel like I've learned a lot from that. That's great. Thank you, Dallas. OK, next is uh, Bonita Loca. Yes, so I'm Bonita Loca. I will be graduating this April. I am majoring in general management. And I'm also minoring in human resource management. Um, my favorite part about SBA was probably attending the networking events as well. It definitely led me to find my true calling. Um, as of right now, I am a mortgage banker. And if it wasn't for OU, I, I probably wouldn't have been in the world of sales just because when I first started and even joined this university, I was more towards the medical field just because all my family uh, we're in the medical field, but I wanted to be different. I wanted to stand out. I wanted to gain more knowledge and in other aspects, you know, other majors. So if it wasn't for my counselor as well, I don't, I don't think I would have even tried to go towards the business route. And I'm so, so thankful. Um, so thank you to my counselor. I don't think he's a counselor anymore, but he was amazing. It was Steve Farber. Um, and of course, I do want to thank my boyfriend just for being the best support system that I could possibly have right now. Um, and just these four years, if it wasn't for OU's flexible schedule as well, I mean, I work full time and I actually took six classes just so I could graduate, but I don't think I would say I was just doing it. I, I definitely enjoyed it. So if it wasn't for you guys, I, I wouldn't be where I am today. And I'm looking forward to see where this degree takes me. So thank you to all of you professors and faculty, um, especially for hosting this event as well, because it, it makes us feel, you know, proud of ourselves. You know, we finally did it. Um, so thank you guys so much. I really appreciate the opportunity and, and stay safe. Great, thank you. 
So Dean, you want to take the next uh, student? Oh, uh, okay. It's uh, well. Let me see where we are. Okay. Courtney. Who's okay. that? Courtney. On the on the screen, I think she. Um... Uh, I'm sorry. I'm I'm trying to follow okay. one list. Okay. Here. I I I'll, how about I uh, see if I. Can... Okay. Okay, Courtney McQuarters. Is Courtney here? Hi. Yes. Hello. Hi. So. Sorry for the mix up. Okay. <laughs> So my name is Courtney and I am graduating this April with a bachelor's of science degree. My major is accounting. During my time at OU, I've been involved in a few different things on campus, both SBA and non-SBA related. So um, just looking back, I have participated in the pet band. Thank you, Brendan. Very nice comment in the chat. But I participated in the pet band at OU. I'm also a member of the Honors College, um, a member of OASIS from the School of Business. I've also done a few different other things related to academic success on campus. So I actually worked for five semesters as an academic peer mentor, SI leader, and then a tutor through various offices on campus. One of my favorite experiences probably in the SBA was working as a SI leader for microeconomics. So I did that for five semesters, as I said, and I actually see a few of my first SI students in this call right now. So it's really great to see everyone in this call and seeing how they've progressed and we're all graduating. So congratulations to everyone else as well. My future plans are I am actually attending law school in the fall, so I accepted a full ride offer from Indiana University Maurer Law, so very, very excited to start that next chapter. Um, currently this semester I was interning for FCA, so I just finished out my quarter activity quarter closing activity assignments and my internship is ended. So I'm just enjoying this last month of finishing up my classes. But I'd just like to thank, first of all, everyone for organizing this call. Um, all my mentors, both faculty and SBA advising. So Ian, I see you're on this call. Thank you. I know when I got my FCA internship, you were helping me out and you actually recommended it. So thank you very much for that. Professor Free, um, my honors college mentor. I've had you for a lot of classes. You've really helped me out throughout the last four years. So thank you to you especially, and just all of the other great faculty members that Oakland has. Very excited to graduate. And once again, just congrats to everyone else for also all of their accomplishments. That's great, wonderful. That's great, Courtney. Okay, next on the list is Brandon Mills. Is Brandon with us? Yes, I'm here. Can you guys all hear me? Oh, yeah, we're good. Thank you. Okay, so I am Brandon Mills. I graduate this April with um, a major in general management and minors in economics and finance. So at OU, I was part of Beta Gamma Sigma. And I was part of the National Society of Collegiate Scholars when I was at Saginaw for my first year, and then I transferred to Oakland. I also really liked all the recruiting events and other events that were hosted um, by the School of Business, as most people have mentioned. For me, I really enjoyed going to like the basketball games, whether it was at Oakland. I also went to Little Caesars Arena right before COVID started to watch Michigan State versus Oakland. And then I've also gone to the Palace to watch Oakland play Michigan State. So I'm a big sports guy, so it's cool to see Oakland play like Michigan and Michigan State, the big schools of the state. Um, currently, I'm applying to jobs and potentially might go back to get an MBA one day. I would like to thank my family. My mom's with me and then my dad's on the call and also my sister. She goes to Central, but she's helped me a lot. And I'd also like to thank all of you guys for setting this up and all the professors. So I was a mechanical engineering major at first. So when I switched, all the professors at school business have been great, especially with COVID. Um, I think they've made it a lot easier than it seems like it would have been being completely online. So thank you guys all. 
Great, good. Thanks, Brandon. I think our next person is Isaac Nye. Is Isaac here? Isaac? Okay. Okay, so we move on to Bhakti Patil. Is Bhakti here? Yep, I'm here. Um, my name is Bhakti Patil. Um, I will be graduating at the end of the month with my bachelor's in human resource management. Um, let me pull up my cheat sheet here that Megan sent out earlier. Um, so my involvement in the SBA and OU, um, I was, well, I'm currently the president of our SHRM chapter and I'm also the secretary for our collegiate DECA chapter. So I've been pretty involved with those um, over the past few years. My favorite experience while as an SBA student was definitely being involved in those couple orgs. It really helped me get a good network, not just with other students, but also with faculty members. Um, I've been able to grow a lot as a person and as a, um, a young HR professional as well through those connections. And my future plans, so I'm currently an HR intern at Borg Warner. Um, I'll be moving on to an HR coordinator role once I graduate. So I'm super excited about that. And I wanted to also thank all of my family. And then of course, all of the faculty that have supported me along the way. Um, I came from the School of Arts and Sciences. So I was a pre-dental student previously. And I remember meeting with Megan on my first advising appointment and learning all of the different things that I could possibly do in the business school. Um, and then, of course, career services and a special shout out to a few of my closer faculty members that I've grown um, really appreciative of Nancy Savage, Greg Thrasher and Janelle Townsend. I've been able to connect with them really well through the orgs that I've been a part of. So thank you all. Thank you. That's great. That's great, Bakhti. OK, next on the list is Megan Rodabaugh. Is Megan with us? Yep. Hi. I'm Megan Radabaugh. I am going to be graduating in a couple weeks with my major in marketing and minor in HR. Um, at my time at Oakland, I really got to get involved with my sorority, Alpha Delta Pi. I was able to serve as our vice president of marketing, continuous open recruitment chair, and corresponding secretary. I also got to be the treasurer of Meadowbrook Ball for two years. So I was able to definitely apply some skills from the business school into these roles, and it has made my college experience so much fun. Um, I currently am an intern at Fiat Chrysler Automotive. I've been there for about three years now, and I'm hoping upon graduation, I might get a full time there. Um, but I'm definitely doing my job search. And then I just want to give a special thank you to Jerry Roke. Um, he is a management information systems professor as well as statistics. He has definitely served as a mentor and just a great professor um, throughout my experience at Oakland. And he also has continue to be a mentor while working at Chrysler as well. So special shout out to him and just everyone who has helped me complete my degree. Um, and thank you again for today. Thank you. Our next person is Peter Sam, uh, Sam Merkis. Peter. Okay. So next is Josh Smigzinski. Is Josh here? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Oh, great. How's it going, everybody? I'm Josh Smigzinski. Uh, I'm a finance major with a minor in business analytics. Uh, in terms of involvement, I worked for University Housing as a member of Nightwatch for a little over a year uh, during my sophomore and junior years. And then over this past year, I've been a uh, senior portfolio manager for the uh, Student Rent Investment Fund. Uh, in terms of favorite experiences as an SBA student, I would have to say uh, working as the senior portfolio manager with Professor Uptograph uh, for the Student Managed Investment Fund, that was a really good opportunity. Um, and just the amount that I learned in that short, uh, in the span of a year is just incredible. Uh, in terms of future plans, uh, right after college, I'm planning on taking my CFA exams. Uh, so in August, I have my first CFA exam uh, for level one, and then I plan on going back for two and three shortly after. And then after that, I plan to go back and get my master's and uh, continue my education. 
And then in terms of employment in July, I'm starting work at TD Auto Finance in Farmington Hills. There I'm going into the uh, incoming analyst program. I had an internship this summer, and then I got hired on full-time after that internship. And then in terms of people to thank, I wanna thank my mom and my dad. My dad is here with me right now. I would like to thank my advisor, uh, Identica Hallsworth. Uh, she was definitely extremely helpful uh, through getting through COVID school and all that fun stuff. Um, and then I would also like to thank my professor, uh, Professor Uptograph, um, specifically for the Student Managed Investment Fund. He's been a great mentor over this past year. Uh, and he also gave me the opportunity to get on campus a little bit more. Um, so every Wednesday, I'm, I get to be on campus for like an hour or two. And then I would also like to thank my friends in this call, uh, Raymond and Nick. Uh, they helped me through everything, um, getting through the classes and stuff, and then uh, staying sane while living on campus. Thank you. Thank you. That's great, Josh. Good job. Okay, next on the list is Tina Sorguj. Is Tina with us? Yes, hello. So my name is Tina Sorguj. Um, my major is Management Information Systems, and I minored in Computer Science. Um, I was involved in Beta Gamma Sigma, and actually um, one of my favorite recent experiences was with that. Um, I did a um, audiobook reading for um, children in elementary schools during COVID. And it was really nice. Um, it was for Black History Month. So they, it was um, nice to add kind of a personal aspect to at school learn or at home learning. And um, as for currently, I am an intern at Urban Science, um, working for marketing and client satisfaction. But um, I actually got a um, job with them at Urban Science about two weeks ago to better fit my major. So I will be a analyst with them and um, it's a great company. I really enjoyed being with them for the past two years and it was a great internship, you know, two years. I am very thankful for them. And um, as for, um, I wanted to thank the um, faculty. Um, I originally started in computer science and I decided that I didn't like it. I wanted to have kind of a more business technology, um, I guess, side to my job. And when I tra transferred to the School of Business, they were really nice. And I never thought like, you know, four years ago, um, I didn't think I would be using all the resources at the advising. And I ended up like, you know, using it all the time and it helped me with my um, interviewing skills and um, just in general. So I wanna give special thanks to them. They do a great job there. And I'm always gonna like recommend going to advising. Um, so yeah, thank you everyone. Thank you, congratulations. Thank you thank so you. much. <laughs> I'm so excited great. to start with that company. Uh, our next person is Donald Soleil. Donald? Okay. I guess, Dean, it's your, been your luck. I, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> no, I don't know. Fear, fearful of the Dean, whatever <laughs> that means. Okay. All right. So, Travis Turbrack? Travis? Uh, so, hi. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm Travis Turbrack. I'm going to be graduating with a uh, project management major uh, this come this April. Um, one thing that I really enjoyed. Uh, last semester, actually, at a class called Management Strategies and Policies. I found the business simulation that we did through the entire class was really interesting, and it was arguably probably one of the more fun um, projects that I had to do in, uh, to, to complete this degree. Um, once I graduate, I plan to work as a project manager at a company I've been interning at for the past two years uh, called Wavasto. And I'm really excited about that. It's really nice to actually use my degree to its full potential. And uh, lastly, I'd just like to thank my professors and how accommodating they've been through this whole pandemic situation. I know it's been very difficult. Great. OK, thanks, Travis. All right, next on the list is Alessandro Tranchita. Is Alessandro with us? No. Okay, so next up is Nicholas Twidell. 
Nicholas. Yeah, I'm here. Can you guys hear me okay? Yes, indeed. Perfect, great. Awesome. So I, I'm Nick. Um, so my major uh, is management information systems and I'm minoring in business analytics. Uh, I guess my involvement in OU, uh, some of my favorites would be the intramural sports and living on campus. Uh, that was a great experience. I enjoyed all of my roommates and uh, getting to know them. And favorite experience while being an SBA student, I'd say just meeting all the people in all my classes. It was good to meet them and make those connections. And then uh, just talking to employers in Elliott Hall, you know, coming out of class and then being able to talk to an employer and also make those connections. Uh, it was fantastic. And then the future plans that I have is uh, I'm going to be working as a data analyst at Quicken Loans. Um, it's, I'm fantastic. Well, excuse me, I can't speak. <laughs> uh, I had uh, an internship there last summer. Uh, it was very enjoyable. The culture there is fantastic. Um, yeah, it, it's great. I'm, I'm super excited to start there. Uh, I would just like to thank some of my friends that are on this call. They've already thanked me. It's Raymond and Josh. They've helped me through a ton of things, getting through uh, finals, midterms, all the projects. Uh, it's, it's just great. Uh, and I'd like to thank my the faculty, all the professors, and then my advisor. That's always helped me through difficult things, tried to set me up for uh, the best success course. So thank you to them. And thank you to you guys for setting this up. Thank you. Ali is here, by the way, Ali Trenchida. So she, I think, just couldn't unmute. Hi, yeah, sorry. I, I don't know what happened or why it didn't work originally. I am a finance major and I was pretty busy throughout my time at LU. I had three internships and after graduation, I'll be starting full time with Profit Guard is an analyst, and I just wanted to thank my parents for everything and helping me along the way. So. Oh, great. Thanks, Haley. All right, and then uh, last but certainly not least is Christina Yancey. Is Christina with us? All right, well, thank you to our readers and thank you for everyone for sharing your stories and just highlighting some of your experiences that you've had here at Oakland and different opportunities you pursued. We're just so proud of you. I was truly inspired listening to what you had to share. So thank you for that. We also have some well wishes. Um, and again, now we're too soon to think about graduate school. I'm sure Paul would agree with me. Mr. Paul Trump. Hey, Megan. Hello, everybody. Um, yeah, Megan gave me a 20 minute slot. I don't know if I'm gonna take that long, but I, a couple of things. I wanna congratulate everybody. Um, you and I have something in common as well, um, as well as with Megan and a few others. I went to Oakland University and I loved it so much as an undergrad. I um, thought about how to uh, pursue that for my career. So I worked in corporate for about seven years in advertising and human resources. And then I came back to Oakland University. And I've been there, been here uh, 21 years. So it, it feels, so that's what I wish for all of you. So what I say this at the graduate, um, uh, Dr. Mazio and Kirji hear me say this every year at the master's dinner. But what I hope for everybody and what I wish for all of you is that on Sunday night, um, you're not dreading to go to work, that you're looking forward to it. And even, even working remotely for the past year, which has been bizarre, it's, um, I still feel comfort that Monday morning is going to come around and I do what I love. So I wish everybody that, that you all do what you love. Um, I, I recognize a few names. So I know a few of us have already talked um, about the MBA or other graduate programs. Um, it's not too late to consider one. Um, it won't even be too late to consider one when you're 50 years old. You do it when the time is right. A um, couple of positive reasons to consider it now is that you're already in the mode um, of studying all the time and then pursuing a graduate degree, it would be a seamless transition. Um, but what I always recommend for everybody is do it if you wanna do it and do it when you're ready to do it and prefer preferably do it if somebody's gonna pay for it as well. So hopefully most of you have already secured a job um, and hopefully that company for whom you work offers graduate tuition uh, reimbursement. So. Um, some companies offer 
5,000, some offer 10,000, some offer 100%. Um, but if your amount is, let's say, as low as 5,000 per year, um, you and I could meet and I could help you schedule that graduate degree out to have little out-of-pocket costs. Um, and I would show you how that's done. You would just take a few classes a year. And um, for any graduate program, the master's, you have six years to complete it with an option of a two-year extension. And then, of course, there's also a, um, graduate certificates. You have three years to do those with a two-year extension. So you have a lot of time to do it. And my recommendation is you tip away at it and have a little out-of-pocket costs um, and have hopefully your employer pay for it. Um, it's not to start to start a master's degree immediately after. I think that's an urban legend. Um, and just keep this in mind. If you do start right after and you're getting a little bit of help from your company, um, you could just stretch that thing out for four years. And then in four years, you'd have a master's degree um, paid for and then four years experience. So there's a lot of things to consider. Um, just, so the big grad program we offer is the MBA. You can do that online as well. We offer Master of Science um, in Information Technology Management. Um, and the ways to, the paths to pursuing that master's degree is Business Analytics and Information Security Management. We offer Master of Accounting. I know we have some accounting students here. Um, we have an executive MBA, which does require seven years experience. So if anybody wants to put it off for a while and get seven years experience. The average amount of experience our executive MBA folks have is about 15 years. That's average 15 to 20. Um, and then we offer certificates in finance, offer certificate in uh, business essentials, which most of you folks wouldn't qualify for it because you already have a business degree. We have a certificate in business analytics, information security management. Plus, once you're done with a master's degree, you may wish to come back and get a post-master's degree in, uh, and, and different areas. So those are some of the programs. I feel like I need to talk fast to cover all this, um, but I do wanna wish all of you congratulations. We're also proud of you that you're a part of the School of Business. Um, and I'm proud of you that you are, we, what we have in common is that we're all Oakland alumni. So um, everybody best of luck. And um, I'm gonna turn this back over to my dear friend, Megan. Thank you, Paul. Thank you. Lifelong learning friends, right? really truly. So sure. he's a great contact again, if you want to chat now, or even as he, he said, when you're 50, you know, maybe Paul, you'll still be here. Who knows, right? Love all you so much. Yeah. Um, I, we also, <laughs> we have the pleasure you. of our director of employer relations, Ian Colley, is going to share with us. Ian, would you like me to share the PowerPoint? Or would you like to share it? Uh, that would be great, Megan, if you don't mind, mainly because I've had some glitchy internet uh, I think the, the second craziest thing would be not only your mic is muted, but uh, I think we lost, I think we lost so-and-so on, on the meeting here, but they'll be dialing back in. So um, hi, everybody. I'm Ian Cauley, and um, I think Megan will be pulling up that. I've got a brief slideshow, but um, there'll be some reminders in here, but mainly I wanted to say congratulations to you all and make sure you were all aware that you've got access to SBA Career Services moving forward indefinitely. And that includes your Handshake account. So please don't forget that. And for anybody on this call who's yet to land something, please make an appointment with our team. Um, okay, Megan, if you can move it along. I wanted to show that we have a uh, career community model that we use at Oakland University. We have our, there is a main office in North Foundation Hall that's existed there going way back. But uh, we in the School of Business have been an embedded program back to uh, spring, summer of 2016. So everybody here on this call most likely has had the opportunity to engage with SBA Career Services, even going back to when, when you all were freshmen. Um, let me see here. Okay, Megan. These are some stats on our latest uh, first destination survey career outcomes. Uh, we do this every year at Oakland University and we've actually been cited by NACE, the National Association of Colleges and Employers as a best practice when it comes to helping students get jobs and, and internships, but also on how we report and share that data. Um, our career outcomes are generally in that 95% area, the rating. And uh, as you see, a very heavy amount of our students remain in Michigan um, tied to our first destination survey. And we love that because we really would like to keep our talent here in Michigan. 
for those of you who venture out, uh, that's great as well. Um, I can appreciate that. Um, I also see here in that slide that more than a third of our students cite career services as a main contact or connection to those employers. So we're proud of that and happy to be a part of that uh, along with faculty and other mentors and student orgs that are oftentimes that connection to, to that employer. So why employers choose OU? Many of you already know this, but again, I just wanna share some reminders. Our location is amazing. So whether you're a current undergrad, pending graduate or an alum of OU, uh, Southeast Michigan is a hotbed of employment and Oakland University is just so perfectly placed in the community. We have a strong alumni network. A lot of these employers are former OU students that love to hire OU alumni. Um, our strong accreditation, not only with the uh, regional, but with the AACSB and even AACSB specific to the accounting program. So if you look at our recognition, we've got that as well outside of accreditation. We've been touted in several ways by several third-party outfits on what a value we are to students and uh, how that turns into real ROI. We have what we call the continuous internship model because of our geography. Many of our students do year-round internships and that's a big value to build experience, have some money coming in and potentially uh, turn that into a full-time position like we've heard from many of our students here today. Um, our student work ethic, as you all know, you guys bring it, you have the grizzly grit and that excites me just about as much as anything because that's a very easy sell to our employers here in the community, right? Um, you all are very tenacious in what you do. You've got a great work ethic and um, I put you guys up against any university anywhere on the globe. Um, and then our retention rates, right? Employers are interested in high retention. And we've seen that as well um, in Michigan where a lot of our employers might lose these interns from other universities who might leave the state, right? Um, most of our students remain here and employers love that retention so that they can not only develop you all, but also get their own return on investment for having put that time and effort into you all as uh, interns. Okay, give me one second here. So um, this one is a little more uh, sequential, Megan, so thank you for that. All access pass, again, I wanna remind you that as an alum, you will all have access to our services free and clear, um, just like all of our full-time and part-time students do. So I really encourage you to take advantage of that. We've got alumni that come back 10 and 20 years later that end up um, you know, landing opportunities or get something out of us. It might be, I got to dust off the interviewing skills or I'm looking for a promotion or to take a right turn in my career. So we're here for that. Um, handshake access, you do have that continuous, but you will want to go in in the next six months or so for sure and update your account information with an updated email profile because at some point you do use, lose that open university email. And we're happy to help with that if you've got any questions or, or need that one-on-one -on -one assistance to make that happen. We'll also cite that you've got opportunities to give back that um, some staff and faculty have already alluded to here today. Um, we do mock interviewing. The Achieve program loves to have alumni back to help with mock interviews once you're kind of settled into your careers and you yourselves have experience from Achieve, so you know what that's all about. You've also got the opportunity to come back as an employer rep um, we and employers love it when Oakland University alumni are part of that engagement because you all know what the experience has been like and uh, Oakland University students best relate to OU alumni. So thank you for that. That's a little forward-looking statement I put in there or forward-looking ask, but um, thank you for that in advance. And then lifelong career development, right? We've heard a bit, Megan's used the term lifelong student. I think of that for myself. I went back for a master's degree in higher education in my 40s. So uh, not to date myself, I know I look much younger. Um, but consider yourself a lifelong student and, and continue, uh, continue to learn and develop. Um, we often hear of employers talking about, we need to upskill our, our staff. Uh, we've got season 10, 15 year people at our company, but we need to upskill them. And that's part of why OU has, in the School of Business, developed these stackable programs. So you can break out chunks of 
of core skills that are needed even well on into your career. So really proud of that and the, and the advancements that have happened in the business school. Salary negotiation, career path, um, and again, those continued connections. Uh, we recently had an OU MBA alum uh, put a, an opportunity together with Fiat Chrysler, now Stellantis, um, a year or two past his MBA degree. And that happened by him re-engaging and coming back and not forgetting about all the opportunities that are available here in the school. So um, networking opportunities, I've restated some of these on the slide here. Great connections here. Again, even as an alum, you can come back and interact with some of these student organizations, uh, whether or not you were a part of them. So we would encourage that to um, our students, as you all know, love getting that mentorship and especially from uh, OU alum. Next slide, again, we're highlighting Handshake. It, it is really the kind of uh, ultimate platform that we use at Oakland University for connecting and finding opportunities from part and full-time jobs to internships. Thank you, Megan. And again, I just wanna say congratulations and please keep in touch. We've got plenty of ways for you all to engage as alumni. Uh, it's been a pleasure. I just had my five year anniversary in March here at Oakland University. And after 15 or so years in corporate talent acquisition and staffing, I jumped the fence to higher ed. And um, I had never looked back in the sense that this is a real passion play for me. And uh, it's just been a joy getting to know all you students and always a pleasure to work with everybody in the SBA. So thank you all and thank you, Megan. Thank you so much, Ian. We appreciate your time and commitment to our students. Again, all of you on this call, don't be strangers. That's what we wanted to share. And I think that's the message that both Paul and Ian really shared that you're still a part of us. Even if you're not with us in Elliott Hall, uh, you're still very much a part of us. And our official closing will be through our, our wonderful Dean Manzio. Well, thank you again. And, you know, in the beginning, I just simply said what makes this institution and this SBA just so good is our faculty and our students. And as I sit back here and listening to all the remarkable stories of our students who just reiterated what I said, and we are a fine institution, but you make that institution. And what Megan said and what our associate dean said, don't be a stranger. Uh, we are stronger because of you uh, and give back, come back, tell us where you are. Uh, we have a wonderful opportunity to come back and speak to our students about your experiences. And many of you actually talked about that, about the connectivity of individuals that you've met, both faculty, staff, and fellow students. So with that, I wanna give you just a hearty congratulations. It makes us all very happy to see your success. It truly is. So with that, congratulations. Uh, hope you'll go into the driving graduation that we're having on May 13th. Uh, it'll still be in your car and that sort of stuff. But frankly, I'm very confident that the future looks good. And frankly, it looks much better because of all of you. So with that, congratulations and have a good day. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Take care, everyone. Congratulations. We're so proud of you. Congratulations, everybody. Congratulations. Yes, indeed. Oh, good to see you all. Great job, everybody. Yes, congratulations. Have a good weekend. Yes. Right. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.